Hey everybody, I'm Amy. I'm Dan. We're the Hustle Couple coming at you today with what's sold on eBay and Poshmark. <laughs> another day of pretty mm, pretty e sales but what can you do you just gotta you gotta keep going right we are full-time resellers in dallas texas we sell on ebay poshmark and sometimes mercari sometimes welcome if you are new here today we are shipping us. 14 things which is not great for us mm, no we usually like to be up in the 22 to 30 range ideally over 20 I think it might be the first day all month we are not gonna hit our goal oh gosh but, but i'll keep okay. checking i'll keep checking we had a we had a night we had a little surplus so okay well gonna, i don't i, I don't like gonna... to live for the surplus i know i know you don't. starting on poshmark we sold two things and the first is yes. this lovely plush plush hey, on posh plush on posh we sell a surprising amount of plush on poshmark yeah and this sold for 14 dollars. <laughs> it's a gunned something I don't know. It's a gunned bear. Okay, uh, that's all we need The ticket says is the Edge Hill collection. Edge Hill. I'm not sure that we would pick him up anymore. We really only pick up plush if it's worth like 50 bucks now. Yeah. Um, but, hey, if you have a lot of plush in your area and you're looking, what can I resell? It's definitely something to look into. Even if you're not great at plush, you can learn. Yeah. Google Lens is your best friend. We sold a lot of plush in our days. We've sold a lot. And the fact that you can cross-list it to Poshmark is great. And it sells over there. Because then you can get bigger plush and put it in whatever USPS box you want. Love that. Speaking, I mean, I don't know why he's putting it in a poly mailer, but go for it. I was going to just, so that I can put it into a box easier. And don't okay. Have to, don't have to build a huge box. Sure thing. Sure thing. Um... Oh, wait. What? What's happening? There was one more. We have a viewer sale. Maybe you have print this, printed this out early. So maybe we have one more additional Is there another thing. one that came through? That was the viewer sale I told you about. And an offer. Come on. That's a terrible offer. It's going to wait on that one. Yeah, there's one more thing. So we have 13. Lucky 13. All right. No. Wait. What did I say? 14. 15. Um, let me go pull these while you're doing that. Can I get the actual number? These are the ones we almost sold yesterday. And we pulled the wrong ones. And now we're selling them today. Six, two, one, eight. Okay. We're going to get this little posh bark packed up here. Yes. This is a men's shirt from Everlane. Everlane's what? A nice, a sustainable brand, right? Yeah, we got this, I guess, at the bins for 99 cents. And it went on Poshmark for how much? 25 bucks. All right. I'm going to try the old sale technique tomorrow. On Poshmark, I usually do sales on Fridays. I send out offer slickers on Fridays because people get paid. A lot of normal working folk, not us. All right. All right. First thing is viewer sale, and I believe if you do this, Jose is in Canada. We love our Canadian subscribers so much, and I think these are going to Canada. 
Excellent. But we're trying to figure out, Dan's trying to figure out right now if they're going via eBay, eBay International or if we're sending them ourselves. eBay International Standard Delivery. So, okay, somebody asked why we don't put these in a flat rate, and I have the same question. Can we use a flat rate? I don't believe so, because it doesn't print out flat rate postage. The postage that we pay for, I think, includes postage all the way to the destination. That's why it's like 18 or 27 or whatever. No, but you said eBay International. Isn't this the new GSP? Yeah, but it's still, it's like $18, eBay International Standard. Oh, eBay International Standard. Standard. No, this isn't the new thing yet. So confusing because they're called <laughs> they're almost called, the exact same yeah. thing. So we, yep. this is over a pound and we need to get it. We send it but to it's Canada. Going, it's going priority mail. I just can't, you, you just can't use a flat rate envelope. And we're not exactly sure what we're talking about. I just want to be completely transparent. I don't think we know what we're talking about. What do you mean? Because I think we've always oh, we sent them in a flat rate. And then recently we were kind of like, wait, can we? And then we... But I think we always did. I don't know because, like I said, a flat rate. You hit, it's it even says on the label when you print it out. You know, oh, it does. Flat FR envelope or PO, you know, whatever. Yeah. We don't know, guys. I'm sorry. I was trying to answer your question, and I just I'm just not 100 percent sure. We're just erring on the side of caution to make sure that it gets there. Thank you for your purchase. Yes. We appreciate you. We, pre we appreciate all Canadians. We're like super fans of Canadians. So that's one pound two. Point two. Nine and a half by 11. And I'm very sorry that in Canada, y'all don't have posture VA. That is very unfortunate. Not only is that her first purchase from us. It's her first eBay purchase ever. Wait, what? Do the... I can't wait. What? This is why we have a sound effect. <laughs> it's so quiet over here. <laughs> We're right. trying. Congratulations. I hope it gets there fine. Yes. I appreciate so. you. Thank you. All right. Next is a sport coat from John Barveda. Uh, nope, it's not. Yeah. It's a Land's End. Just kidding. This is a Lance and I didn't even tell you. They were soft surroundings pull on jeans. Awesome pants. You're going to love them. Okay. Now, Lance and blue linen tunic with embroidered details, a leg and look top, 19 bucks. All right. This is really pretty too. Look, it has lace on it. It's pretty. I think this came from the bins. There's no sticker on it, so. in the wrong place just like you did yesterday i did the exact same thing sweet <laughs> sweet <laughs> now it's john barbados time all right we've been selling some sport coats for pretty cheap recently because we're full and we are trying um, clear out the old stuff clear out 10 ounces uh we have a lot of new viewers hi hey how's it going uh the best way to enjoy our content is to watch every day we have this, and then we also live list at night, and you can check that out on another channel. And if you want to watch the replay, if you can't watch live at nighttime, it's great to have on the background while you're working. Yep. And it shows my computer screen, how I list on eBay if you're trying to get into that. So we have basically like what we're selling and how we sell it. Yep. All day, every day. And uh, come on over. There you go. This is it. It's a summer sport coat that's only got the partial lining in it like that. And where'd it go? Where'd it go? There it is. That's the John Rovedo Star USA. Like and this is this is the peak lapel for any I know we had some questions the other night. That's what they look like. Um I think there's a little bit of a misconception here in my opinion. I don't think a peak lapel is any more anymore. Like as in modern times. It used to be a more formal lapel. I don't think that that stands true anymore. I think it's more trendy right now. It's definitely more trendy right now. Yes. Uh but I don't think it actually equates to more formal. I think it's just, it's a little, I like I'm a little fashion forward, so I got a peak lapel kind of thing. <laughs> but in, in historical times, it was a more formal jacket. Uh, most of the suit jackets or sport coats you will come across have a notch lapel. And that's just like a normal, what you would ever, every, everyday sport coat. Yeah. All right, this is going to New York. It's gonna cost a lot of money to get there. 
Uh, I will review our shipping. Here's the best way to learn about how we do things. We have an eBay series called Getting Started on eBay on our channel. It's five videos. They're short, sweet, and very, very comprehensive. Uh, but it goes over our shipping. We do flat rate shipping, and I'm gonna explain exactly what that means. So for anything that's less than a pound, we charge $4.99. Flat rate, any, anything we sell. And then anything that can fit in a flat rate envelope that's over a pound, we charge $8.99. Then anything that is like this and needs to go in a box, we, we charge $12.99 for sport coats and shoes. And if it's really heavy, we charge $15.99. That's what we do. All right, box is 11.1 .1 by 2.5 by 13.1. .1. One pound 11. And anyway, so that's what we do. And it works out. Most of the time we make a little money on shipping. Sometimes we lose a little money, but we try to offer competitive shipping prices to get the sales. If you want to know how to set that up, it's the first video. It tells you how to set up business policies and shipping policies. It's the first video in that series. It's always on our channel. There's a playlist for it. Yeah. Next is a Neiman Marcus exclusive women's size large brown sleeveless 100% cashmere sweater. Here we go. Selling sweaters in the summer. I don't know what that's about, but... I do. You can't, <laughs> you can't buy them at a store. Right. We used to think the Neiman Marcus brand wasn't a good pickup. It is a great pickup. Um, these sold. This sold for twenty-seven dollars. It just says Neiman Marcus on the tag. Yeah. There you go. But it's a high-end, high-end situation. What do we pay for that? I keep forgetting. Tell uh, me. This pay. was estate sale, so it was ten bucks. So that was ten bucks, and that's just because we probably got some other high-end stuff. The, the John Barbados we paid three ninety-nine for. And the Land's End, we paid 99 cents because that came from the bins. Oh, and then the soft surroundings, we paid $4. That was from an estate sale. We got a ton of stuff at that estate sale. All right. Five ounces. Okay, next is a bra from Waco or Waco. 36 Double D Arabesque Full Figure Underwire Lace Bra Beige. If you're new here, we don't say the word nude. We're working to stop doing that in fashion. And uh, beige is it. Beige it is. There you go. This brand is good. Uh, yeah. This sold for 16 because it's used. But if you can find these new, some of the styles are really, really good. There's also a video on our inventory and ticketing system. I mean, the video, the five videos that I keep referring to have everything from start to finish, but uh, we also have separate, we make tickets for things. And so some people get confused by that. You don't need to do what we do. You can just, <coughs> it just works for us. And, um, I encourage you to find what works for you and your business as you expand and get rich. There you go. <laughs> Next is Eileen Fisher, our favorite brand. Eileen Fisher, size medium, stretch silk, jersey, scoop neck, cap sleeve, tee black. This is a t-shirt. It's silk. I could have maybe countered and gotten a little bit more for this. Normally, we get around 30 for these, but this one went for 20 Like I said, sales were like eekin. Yeah. Eekin. Eek, 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 eek. I've heard it from a lot of people, actually. It's not just us. The eBay's really slow this week. So you got to take the sales when... And you can find them. That's what I feel. Four ounces of that guy. Next is a bundle. Right. This is a bundle of Craig Taylor shirts, which we've been experimenting with since we bought a bunch of them. Craig Taylor women's size large button up pink paisley Mia fit. That's the first one. And then Craig Taylor women's size large Grace fit cotton button front shirt. They have the names in them, which is really, really great. Yeah. And uh, they're both Paisley, which I guess is maybe coming back. I don't know. They're just button down shirts and we'll show you the tag. So there's a pink one and a blue one. Yeah. There you go. Made in the USA. So that's always a good selling feature. Um, these each sold for $23.96 and we paid $3.59 for them. Any 
they actually are light enough to be shipped first class together. Fantastic. Um, we had that big bundle yesterday and we ended up refunding $20 in shipping. And we encourage you to do that too if, if there is a bundle because all that shipping adds up and normally it's way too much. Yeah. And we did that, I meant to say it in the video, we did that before I calculated all of our profits. So that did come out on the top. Next is a pair of shoes from Vince. And I got these at the thrift. I was actually pretty surprised. I go. Wait, that tag is, that is just not, no. No, no. Did no. I get the wrong ones? I don't know. Four, nine, four, five. Yeah, but the ticket, also that's too much money. We didn't pay that much for these. Well, let me see what's actually in here. Well, how much is it? It feels heavy. Maybe it's not those. What are these? Th we paid less than four ninety nine because remember it's half off day and these were like three ninety nine or something. They were like two bucks. They weren't nine dollars. This is the wrong ticket. That's okay. what I'm trying to tell right. you. Okay. So I just wanted you to get the right price on them. Got it. I believe these were three ninety nine. It was written on the sole. Yep. I and so that cleaning it off. Yeah, and that was half price. So these were two dollars. Okay. And this is Vince. They make clothing, but they also make shoes. Their slip on, slide on shoes used to do well for us, but not so much anymore. These are leather, and then they have a wedge. So that's nice. Nice, nice pair of shoes for two bucks. Our thrifts normally mark the shoes crazy high, but this day I was able to find a couple of pairs that were pretty good. We went on 50% off today. That's all we, we don't ever throw full, full price anymore. Shipping These are going to Florida. So we probably thought we were gonna get them in a flat rate envelope. Are they gonna fit? Yes. Uh, our, our friends on our YouTube lives have been telling us to just ship in flat rate envelopes and poly mailers and stuff because we always used to overpack shoes. And it's been a really big help in the time saver. And we haven't had any problems, knock on. That's not real. We're <laughs> very superstitious around these parts. I just wanted to see how much they were. Okay. All right. Padded flat rate envelope. Next is Chico's. Okay. I'm telling you, Chico's has paid our mortgage this month. No, <laughs> no doubt. Well, between April and now. Um, this is Chico size one, US eight, knit, kit, tie, front, black, white, three quarter, open sleeve, top, athleisure. We just listed this. We did just list that. I'm gonna show you. The reason it's athleisurely is because it's slinky <laughs> and it has white trim and it's just got this like sporty vibe to it. This is the open sleeve I was telling you about. See how it, you can see your arm through. <laughs> it's a cute shirt. I like it. And it has a tie at the front. I mean, this is like sporty spice. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go for it. Um, and this sold for $20. <clears throat> Shoes. Yep, the next is the pair of shoes that the person we've been talking about all week couldn't pay. They oh, yeah. finally were able to pay. Yay! Yay! Donna Karen, women's size seven and a half, white strappy leather sandal shoes, flats, Y2K. That was my title. They are very Y2K because they're like thin, strappy, chunky sandals. And uh, they sold for 20 bucks, which most of the shoes we listed from all that free shoe lot, they're all kind of going for 20 bucks, so that's good. Yeah. May has been the month of $20 sales, which is just not how our business is normally set up. But you gotta take the inventory where you can get it, right? And we bought this huge lot of inventory we're still listing. 
And um, oh, these aren't chunky, but they are strappy. Strappy and tiny. Flats. They're cute. I don't know why this has a little bit yellow. Uh, what? How does that happen? What's happening with them? This side of this strap is like yellow. Give me the full legs. Oh, can't. Yeah. <coughs> I'm about to try the full legs. Full legs, full legs, full legs. Look. Hey. These are nice shoes. Leather upper, leather sole, and made in Italy. These are really nice for 20 bucks. Yeah. All right, we're going to try to full legs these. <laughs> Folex is a cleaner where you don't have to rinse it. <clears throat> Sometimes if there's just some surface dust that's making something yellow, it will work like magic. Sometimes it won't. You know, I need a magic eraser. That's what I need. You want to go get it? There's one on the other side of the right there. The Folex and the magic eraser combo. <laughs> Folex is actually working, y'all. Oh, it's so good. We were listing these shoes really fast, just to be completely honest, and probably just this. Oh, it's look at that. I know, it works so well. Look at it. Wow. Wait, you guys want to see, That's don't you? That's really good. So I'm just like spraying the Folex on here. I don't know which one is working. So it's yellow up here. Can they see? Yeah. It's yellow up here. And then this is where I just cleaned. So I'll, I'll do it so you can see it. Folex, you can get it on Amazon. We always have it linked below. I bet you love this ASMR, don't you? But see, better than getting a return, just taking these couple of minutes. See? Coming out white now. Yes. All right. Noise, noise, noise. Oh, it's way better. It's way better. Here, you want to do one? Here's another. Trying to get like in the threads, you know? I don't know why it was yellow. I'm not really 100% sure. <laughs> but I'd rather do this and not get a return. Well, hopefully not get a return. I'm just gonna rinse it. I know bullets is no rinse, but I just wanted to use the water. It's only on one side, though. Yeah. I know. On yours, too? Yeah. Same. For 20 bucks, you'll get a season out of these, I think. Yeah. Oh, I see. There's like this little. Is this what you were just cleaning to? One of these little things? Yeah. Did it come off? It did. Yes. Yes. Y'all, I'm obsessed with my cleaning kit. I know you want a video. Maybe, maybe I can film it. <laughs> it's been, it's like the best thing ever. Like a Q-tip or something. Give me one of those. 
This is what happens when we lift shoes too fast. Aww. Aww. I just sprayed this all over my hand too, right? It's no rinse. It's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna be fine. I wish they made magic. Okay, I have a good no. I have a good no, idea. I'm not gonna right. say it. I'm not that's gonna right. say it. You guys are gonna steal it and become rich, and then I'm gonna be mad. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't that be great? Yeah, that's a good idea. I'm sure you guys already guessed it. I can't get this. It's like in a really hard to reach okay. place. Coming off? Looks like it. Is, this the, is it the paint? Oh. Cleaning kit, cleaning. Wait, where's the one? Gonna put these away. Hey? <gasps> <laughs> we tried. Definitely tried. I think it's better. Than better. Those. Okay. Okay. Next. <laughs> well then. Next is Eileen Fisher, size small, black. Skirt Milano Viscose Knit Knee Length A Line Pull On. So, we sell a ton of Eileen Fisher in all sizes, and this is a black knee length skirt. It's just a regular basic. It will sell. That's all I'm going to say. This sold for $31.96. Pretty sweet. Love it. Yeah, Uh, we have four forty nine into the skirt. I'm guessing it came from an estate sale. Here's the Eileen Fisher tag. They all look kind of the same, but you can see. And it's just a this is a line, meaning that it kind of makes an A shape. So it's just like a basic essential. Um, Eileen Fisher is known for her system, which is a capsule wardrobe situation, meaning you have like. I don't know. I really want to try this with my own wardrobe, but you have like 12 pieces of clothing or 20 or something and they all mix and match. I really like the idea of that. Yeah. Like 12 pieces that you get tailored kind of, to, or you find them that fit you perfectly. In my case, I'd have to get them tailored. And then you just wear them and you feel good in your clothes. <laughs> That's kind of some shoes. Okay, I think you can use it. So it's yeah. probably, you're probably like us though and you have way more clothes than you need because you thrift and so you just pick up everything that you'd be like oh that looks kind of yeah nice. so i think this weekend the stuff that we're gonna list is stuff from our own closet we do that every once in a while like once a quarter we'll do that we'll like go through and just list stuff from our own closet stuff that didn't work out thrifting or whatever and it actually makes us some money next is the banger uh oh this is anne fontaine and it's gorgeous and it's going to australia Anne Fontaine, size 44, US 12, Sienna, Ruffle, Blouse, Sheer, Blue and White, Floral Silk. Now, if you watch us, you know we sell a ton of Anne Fontaine, and normally it's white dress shirts. This is not that. Nope. And it is gorgeous. So I priced this baby up because it is 100% silk, and look how gorgeous this is. It's a ruffle front v-neck top, and here's the sleeves with the ruffles on them. Here's the tag, Anne Fontaine. Ugh. All of Anne Fontaine is made in Pelly, France, and we love it. It's gorgeous. You guys, it sold for 90 bucks nice. in less than maybe three hours yeah. of listing it. Very, very quick sale. It makes me want to go back and, and relook at my prices for Anne Fontaine because it's not, we have a lot of it in our closet now and it's not moving as quickly as I think it should. And maybe it's because I have it underpriced. Could be. That is something that happens with this tier of clothing, like with Eileen Fisher or Anne Fontaine. They, if it's priced too low, people think there's something wrong with it. Uh, so I'm gonna go back and look at those prices, and we're gonna. See. How did this like lose weight? Hmm? I have it ten ounces and it's eight, nine. Uh, whatever. What happened? 
Okay, so that's our 15 things. Maybe we'll make it. Well, I should check, right? To see if we sold anything else. Yeah. No. He gets so excited when we do. Oh, wait, we have an offer, though. Uh-oh. Oh, my gosh, this picture, the front picture is all messed up. You offer. Is it an instant payment? Is it an instant payment? I will take an offer, even if it's lower than I want, if it's instant payment. Hmm. Accept offer. Let's see if they pay. Maybe they're going to pay right now. Okay. The This is 11 by 7, 3 ounces. <laughs> Keep refreshing. Refresh, refresh. Where's the ticket? Oh, here it is. Okay. If they pay, I'm going to pull it, okay? All right, all right. This is what happened yesterday. We met our goal because I kept refreshing. <laughs> I mean, technically, it's just semantics. Like, we'll get the money for it tomorrow. But I want it today. Come on, you know you want to. Let's see if we saw anything on Poshmark. No. No. Gosh. Should I send a payment reminder? <laughs> <laughs> First up is the 6350. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, because it's been actually. Yeah. I was just thinking that I had written something about that. I'll check the names. Thank you. 4357. Suit Dragon. Seven nine four. Uh oh. Why does it have two tickets? I don't know. How did that happen? I must have, must have not seen it and made another one. Oh. Get away. Okay. Um. Seven six eight seven. Craig Taylor bundle. Craig Taylor bundle. Here we go. Uh, 
cabbage flat range, 1945. The seed paper's all about. Yep. Hey. <laughs> 7942. 794. Two. Seven four one five. The soft surroundings paints. Thank you. Thank you. Hope those arrive real quick. Okay, and then last but not least, the Enfantin. Let me let me just go refresh, make sure. <laughs> this other this other thing didn't sell. Let's see. Sometimes I get it before he does. No. Ah. Soul yet. Oh man. We just want to meet our goal. I keep refreshing you. It's like an issue. <laughs> Are you going to our post office? Yes. Okay. It's already passed. They got the windows oh, closed again. No. Oh yes, oh yes. I just wish for it, maybe it'll come up. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh man. Okay, I'm gonna call it. So <laughs> stick around and you'll see how much profit we made today. Yeah, whether we'll we met our goal. We'll be right back. Picnic. Jeremy. Oh man. <laughs> Very demanding today. Mm-hmm. Good boy. All right, ready? One more. All we got. Bye. <laughs> Hi. Hey. Checking. So since you left 15 minutes ago, we yes. have two paid orders. Oh, of course. But we made two hundred eighty-five dollars and nineteen cents profit. Hey. That's not too bad. I just wish bad. We... Yeah. Really fifteen bucks. Come on. What's fifteen bucks between friends? Uh, meeting our daily. <laughs> it's one more pair of Chico's pants. Yes, it is. Uh, let's look at our month today. So we should be at 3300 for the month. Yes. If yes. we're making 300 a day. Oh. We're still we're still okay. I'm hoping that the two sales that came in are prediction good predictions for this weekend. Yeah, let's hope. Yeah, I hope we have a really strong weekend. We're going to try to list a ton of things. Yes, we are. And see, let's look at our year to date. Oh, so All right, sure. Let's just look at it. We just crossed over 37,000 profit. Okay. That's pretty great. That is pretty great. Oh, wow. Let's see what that... Well, we're not even halfway through the month. I can't do that. Well, I can. We can do 30 days 
times four, just about plus 11, right? 131 sure. days. Uh, I was gonna try to see what we what we're making a day, yeah, yeah. right? 37 yeah. divided by 37,000 divided by what was it? 131. Yeah. Oh. We're so close to our daily goal. Yeah, that's really great. We're climbing because in May, in January, February, we didn't we were like a thousand dollars under. Yep. So we're climbing. Yeah, we are. We're playing some serious catch up there. I know. <laughs> Guys, thank you so very much for hanging out with us today. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> and we'll catch you later on live listing seven to ten p.m. Central Time on the other channel. It's linked down below in the description. It's called the Reseller Workroom. We uh, have a good time. Come hang out. Bye. Bye.